Hey there YouTube, I am back with some more Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. It's been quite some time since I've touched on this campaign, and uh, before we begin, I want to take a brief moment to talk about some updates. Basically, school is finally out for me and uh, my co-partner Brandon, and it's very nice to finally be able to have some free time. And uh, basically, the main benefit of this is that I'm going to be able to put out a lot more videos at a much faster pace, and uh, it's definitely going to be fun to get back into these uh, walkthroughs, and that is why the channel was a little bit slow for the past couple days, other than the Minecraft video that I just uploaded, which was one and a half hours long. So, uh, hope you guys uh, check that out and enjoyed it, and if you haven't, uh, please do so, because that, that upload really killed my internet. Anyway, let's uh, pick things up right where we left off, and you guys may notice from the last video, if uh, if you remember where we left off, that uh, I am in a different location, and that is because I did some off-screen work. Basically, I hurried up some more infantry, and I even got some cavalry. I don't think I had this cavalry before. So, they're pretty good. I have some uh, light cav, finally. And I have some, it, you know, a nice little party now, consisting of 29 men. And uh, they are mostly Muscovite mercenary infantry recruits here. So those guys. And I have six experienced. I have some pikemen and marksmen and all that good stuff. So uh, that is basically what I did. I also completed a few tasks. And uh, this, this task is complete. I'm actually looking for the guy from uh, last part. Because I have just been riding around everywhere looking for him. Can't seem to find him. But uh, hopefully I can. Yeah, I already completed that. Peasant taxes. Yeah, I need to persuade him. Yeah, I still haven't done that because obviously I haven't seen him. But, uh, yeah. Let's pick up where we left off. I don't have much money, so I'm going to probably need to raid a couple of small villages. So, uh, right now I'm near Vilna. So, I'm actually going to take a look at our notes here. Not that. I actually forgot where to find this. Alright, sorry about that guys, uh, Mountain Blade just went down for me for a second, not even sure why, but uh, it should be resolved now. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, I'm near Vilna, so we should start heading over to the uh, Swedish. Also, uh, I don't think that uh, we were at war before the last part, I think it was during the uh, off-screen work. Uh, the Polish actually declared war on the Swedish, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work to kind of get the Swedish to hate me, so I can possibly join up with some of the Polish lords in attacking the Swedish. Alright, so uh, let me actually find what I was looking for before. Yeah, here it is. Nations, and we want to go to the Polish. And... It's enemies, or the Muscovites, while wow, we're at, uh, yeah, we have a lot of enemies. Alright, so let's go and, uh, kind of rough up the Swedish here. We'll go to Capia, I think it is. I have no idea. Alright, triple speed it over there. I also want to check my, uh, faction relations here. Or nation relations, I should say. Yeah, I'm only at minus five with Sweden, so I can't actually, like, you know, join up with the Polish quite yet. So, let's continue. Ooh, Swedish caravan. I might attack that. Uh, yep, poor and neglected. Doesn't matter. Give me supplies, please. I'm not gonna loot and burn it, because I am pretty much guaranteeing that uh, they'll find me and uh, want to kill me. But I will attack that caravan, possibly. Mercenary halberdiers. Halberders. I, I don't know how to say that anyway. Uh... I'm going to hold off. I'm going to just uh, kind of harass the Swedish. Ooh. Some scouts versus... Can't uh, see. Ooh. Some Polish Republic scouts versus Swedish scouts. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, the scouts. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Alright. Let's go and uh, help out the Polish here. So I guess I actually can uh, help out the Polish even though I only have uh, negative five relation with the Swedish. I guess it's enough. Also, I've turned down the uh, volume just a tad, along with uh, the sound effects, so it shouldn't be as loud. Ooh, nice. I'm actually surprised that I hit that guy. Uh, I, Like I said, I haven't uh, been on Mountain Blade for quite some time, so that, that was an uh, easy fight. Only two guys on the field, for the enemy anyway. So, uh, we killed one, wounded one, and uh, yeah, they're thankful for my help. Excellent. So, uh, I'll hire up the Dragoon. 
And I'll hire up this guy. We'll capture the uh, dragoon there. Right. A hat. Uh, it's worth 34 coins, so I'll take it. And we're going to go and get some more supplies by obviously forcing the peasants to give it to us. There we go. Linen and lever work. Excellent. And we'll go to one more place. Nidritsa, I guess. Uh, give me supplies, please. Ooh, looks like the uh, Swedish are not happy. At least from what I saw. Let's see. Yeah, that is an army of Swedish running after our guy. Uh, is he running? Wait. Why would they be running from... They have more men. Wait. Uh, any really, I guess they have really good units compared to our guy. Let's see. He has 68 militia pipe. Well, let's see. Alright, I'm actually... I think we can honestly win that. So I'm going to go and rush in there. So, let's uh, charge the enemy. I, I might be sorely mistaken, so hopefully uh, I'm not. Uh, but from what it looked like, I think we have a pretty good chance. Alright, so I want marksmen up front. Well, actually, let's line it up like this. Marksmen up front. Cavalry, follow me. Alright, come on guys, move up. And I'm not uh, going along with uh, my ally. I'm going to kind of stick uh, kind of to my own front. We'll have our infantry charge in, though. Cavalry charge. Oh my gosh, my Dragoon probably just got owned. At least I think that's my Dragoon. That is a pretty menacing... Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh man, those, uh, those pikes reach a long ways. Oh, my mistake. Okay. Uh Oh no. Oh, that was a huge mistake on my part. That uh that did not work out exactly as I planned. Uh I think I'm just going to leave actually. That I can see that well we do have them outnumbered, but uh Yeah, I just don't think so. Alright, we can get some more uh, experienced infantry. I'm actually going to have them fight it out, kind of see how this is going to pan out. There's some foragers there. Let's go kill those guys. Why not? Uh, surrender or die. Alright, let's hold this position. I want infantry, marksmen, cavalry following me. That is my uh, typical orders. And I'll actually have my cavalry occupied the left wing. Right. Infantry, advance, advance. Stand closer, stand closer. Oh gosh. Cavalry, charge. Infantry, charge. Hopefully we're going to be able to pull this off. We should be able to. Right. Oh, I thought I'd hit him. That would be sweet. I am at very low health. Holy crap, I didn't realize. Yeah, that's uh, from getting stabbed last match. Well, not last match, last battle. Oh, I delivered 31 damage. Oh, I thought I killed him. Aw. Oh, well, better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. 40 damage. I think we've got this pretty uh, easily. Hopefully. Should anyway. Ah, I was going to get such a sweet drive by. Oh well. Dang, how is he not dead? I'm impressed, I'll be honest. Oh no, no. Alright. Fifty-two to the horse. It's not bad. Crap. We're losing some uh, infantry, but we've definitely got this one. 
go uh, ride down this guy here. Oh no! Okay, that was uh, too close. Yep. Pull out our trusty pistol. And uh, yeah, okay, or he can uh, kill him. All right, so victory is ours. As you can see, like my party's not that great. These were just some foragers and the last five men. So obviously, I need to get a better army. But uh, so far, it's not too bad. These guys, like, can these to not be worn? Cause like, yeah, I I don't really know. Okay, uh, any of these look good? That's ugly. And I don't want to be wearing a Swedish outfit. That's that's kind of uh, odd when you're fighting against the Swedish to be wearing one of their uniforms. Let's see. Uh, okay. I have plenty of money left. Let's see. How are we doing? Alright, we're going to lose that fight, I think. Eh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, reinforcements. Goodbye. Sorry, dude. You're dead. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't hire uh, soldiers from the little towns anymore. So let's go to Warsaw. And let's see if we can get anyone from the tavern. Uh, oh, actually, I need to go to the marketplace and sell all of the stuff I have. Okay, this guy has plenty of money for all this stuff. Excellent. Uh, let's go back to the tavern, and hopefully they have some good stuff. P uh, ransom broker. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. Uh, I have a dragoon. Twenty coins. Not bad, but eh. Uh, what are you? Ooh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, okay. Only 140 uh, Thaler and a uh, nice amount of men. Four anyway, but yeah, not bad. Uh, we have a veteran now, which is excellent. I think that's about it. I like putting my uh, mercenaries up on top so they go out first. And uh, let's see. Is there a mercenary camp? Yeah, indeed there is. Let's go. Uh, find the mercenary captain. And this is really getting in the way. Okay. Uh, I want to hire some soldiers. Infantry? I'll take 20. Excellent. <laughs> so I have uh, quite a bit of recruits now. So that that's definitely nice. I, I really like the new system that I actually have on here because basically the main idea behind it is cities, or, I'm sorry, towns on Mountain Blade Warband would, uh, you know, sometimes not want to give you citizens. Instead, you go to a mercenary camp, and you're going to get, like, some Polish mercenaries for pretty cheap coin, so it's pretty nice. Let's uh, try to catch this um, deserter band. There we go. Pikemen. I only pay those who deserve payment. Get out of here. And I uh, rarely pay even if they deserve it, so that's just the kind of person I am. Marksman, cavalry, hold over here. How many, uh, alright, three marksmen. It's not extremely horrible. And you guys need to definitely stand closer, otherwise you're just going to form a huge line. So. Uh, dude. Yeah, one of them is stuck in my infantry component, but uh, that's fine. Uh, infantry, charge. Just try to shoot one of those guys. There we go. And, uh, hopefully my, uh, my recruits will do some killing here. If not, then they're, uh, pretty darn useless, I'll be honest. Yeah, they're doing, uh, pretty good. Decent, anyway. Shouldn't say, really, like, really good, but... I'm shooting down my uh, fair amount as well. <laughs> right. Aw, oh, you move, dude. Aw. Uh, 
No. Rev or not, sir. Oh my gosh, seriously. There we go. Now that is how you do it. Right. I'll go take care of these guys myself, dudes. Don't worry about it. I got it. I can do it. Alright. Oh, I seriously missed? Don't. <sighs> Stupid musketeer. Well, oh, that was a uh, very, very good match there. Not really. I lost 10 men to, uh, well, they're deserters, so they actually can be pretty tough. Uh, yeah, they had a ton of pikemen. Man. Alright, I lost 7, uh, recruit infantry. Not bad. Not good either, but, you know. Ooh, a winged hussar. Yes. Yes. I'm just gonna take all these guys. Later on, I'll be more picky with my units, but right now, I'm just trying to get a really good, uh, component going on here. I would like these guys... Just uh, ranging it a little bit. Excellent. Alright. So we have some sabers. Yeah, they're not better than mine, though. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to the Elder of Amir. See if we can get a quest from you. Uh, any tasks? Nope. It's actually pretty surprising. Typically, uh, little villagers have tasks. At least that's how it was in Warband. Uh, let's see if we can find that one, uh, Theodore guy. Um, any tasks? Uh, Lida Castle, certainly. Uh, now let's ask where that one guy is. There he is. On the way, and he should be close. Oh, he's on the way here? Really? Alright. Where did it say some castle starting for them? Well, it's certainly not close. <laughs> uh... What I already said he was on the way here, so let's just see if he's gonna come. Or if he's lying completely. Another very possible turn of events. Alright, I don't see him coming. Uh, let's just go to uh, Lida Castle. Hopefully that guy's still there so I can deliver the letter to him. Um, yeah, somebody bring men following me. No, that's not, no. Oh, oh, here's a... Okay. I didn't realize that that place belonged to the Swedes. Uh, I think that's him, isn't it? Uh, my name is Suppup. Yeah, I have a letter. Uh, Slutsk. Alright. So, this is a little bit of letter business. Let's go there. Yep, still there. Uh, request a meeting with the guy. Hi. Bring a letter. Any tasks? Dang, they just keep giving me tasks. Nice. Uh, some time ago, I loaned a considerable sum of money to Colonel Jan Zanow. Alright, yeah. Yeah, you guys can see it. 4,000 Thaler, to be precise. He was supposed to pay it back within the month, but I haven't received a copper from him since, and this was months ago. If you could collect the debt from him on my behalf, I would be grateful indeed. I would even let you keep one-fifth of the amount for your trouble. Yeah, sure. Do you know where I can find him? Uh, if you leave now and move quickly, you should be able to find him at Bar Fortress. Okay. Uh... Off we go, then. Where is... There it is. Oh, must get to Bar Fortress before he leaves. Oh, what a, whoa, huge, oh, that's not a huge fight. Let's help out. <laughs> oh, I can't, oh yeah, because the Muscovites don't hate me yet, that's right. Yeah, that's the person, isn't it? Uh, right, yeah. Uh, did lend me some silver. But I've done quite a few favors. Uh, he considers it that. 
I still don't see why I should go along with what you're asking of me. Uh, I don't think he'll do it for the sake of our friendship, considering he doesn't even know me. Uh, let me try to convince you. Attempt to persuade. Okay, I don't think that... Okay, fine. Uh, for the sake of our friendship? Well. Uh... Fine, I think I... Let me see. I don't know if I have that kind of money. Let me see. You know, I'm just not going to do it. <sighs> Screw it. Just does not seem worth it to me. I might do it at some other point, but, uh... No. Alright. Yeah, so we're actually getting a pretty decent force, actually. It, it's, you know, it's consisting of some nice mercs. Uh, the Cossacks over here. Alright. Let's see if I can get any uh, troops from the fortress. Go to the tavern. And any good mercs? Ooh, musketeers. Yeah, sure. I could definitely use some more musketeers. I really don't have that many. So that, that'll be uh, definitely worth it. Yeah. Alright, let's head over to the mercenary camp one more time. Uh, yep, talk to him. I'd like to change my men's equipment. Infantry, definitely. Something to wear on their heads. Typically pretty good. Uh, Polish Dragoon uniform. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Uh, infantry. Melee weapons. Uh... Let's, uh, let's get him these. Alright, so we'll give him pikes. Yeah. Alright. So, that is actually going to be the end of this part, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this, uh, quick little part to Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. I'll be back to you guys in the future with some more videos, considering school is now finally out. It's, uh, it's nice to, uh, finally be able to get back to some nice gaming. See ya.